Good afternoon. Uh, this is a special meeting of the 73rd term of your Baltimore City Council. It's now called to order. As a reminder to members of the press and public, we'll ask that you turn off any electronic devices. If they're not turned off at a minimum, put them on silent so you do not disrupt today's proceedings. Uh, tonight, we will, today we will not have an invocation. Unfortunately, uh, the pastor uh, became ill, uh, so we will take a quick moment of silence uh, in the place of our invocation. Thank you. If everyone could please stand at this time and state the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. At this time for our showcase, I would like to recognize some really, really special guests that we have. Today we have the Old Town Gators representing East Baltimore. Uh, the Old Town Gators football and cheer program was established in 1978, a year before I was born. The Old Town Gators Community Development Corporation is a 501c3 free program of service for the youth of Baltimore City. The program is dedicated to helping boys and girls ages 4 to 13 to strive for excellence by helping them to make the, more, the most positive and most informed choices in life. The 11U tackle football team won the 2023 Division II championship with the assistance of Councilman Stokes, parents, and various fundraisers. The Gators were able to compete this journey down in Florida uh, and compete for the United Youth Football League All-American Championship in Plant City, Florida. Uh, they won the title uh, for the UYFL, again, 11U Division II national champions by a score of 39 to 12. We're gonna ask them to come on up. They, they, are, they, are led by, they are led by Coach Gary Hinton. You guys can come on up. So we're gonna ask some of the players to come right here. Some of, the, some of the players go right here, not all of them. So again, they're led by uh, their amazing coach, Gary Hinton. Uh, come on up, coach. You bring a couple players with us. Uh, and at this time, I'm gonna let um, Councilman uh, Robert Stoltz speak on behalf of council. Thank you, Mr. President. But before I read this resolution, I also wanna thank the new Broadway East and Midway CDC that really helped us raise the funds so these young men could go to Florida and become national champions. The City Council of Baltimore resolution, be it hereby known to all that the City Council of Baltimore, the City Council of offers sincere congratulations to the Old Town Gators 11 under in recognition of winning the 2023 All-American D2 11 under, un, under national championship. The entire membership extends best wishes on this memorable occasion and, and it directs this resolution on this 18th day of December, 2023, signed Councilman Stokes, but I want the guys come up here, the coaches, and take a picture with the coach. Come on. Coach. But before we do that, we're gonna announce the other one, okay. City Council oh, Presidential Citation. I, Nick J. Mosby, President of the Baltimore City Council, do hereby present the President's Citation to Old Town Gators Football Program in recognition of your United Football League All-American 11UD2 Championship. Your win exemplifies your commitment and dedication to the football on the field and off the field in pursuit of excellence. In witness whereof the city of Baltimore extends this sincerest congratulations. I have affixed my signature to this citation on this memorable occasion given under the corporate seal of the city of Baltimore this 13th day of December in the year of 2023. So come on coach, you can stand up here and get a couple players around.
está bom, está bom, está bom. Um, my, name, my name is Cheyenne Moffat. I'm one of the team moms on the 11 youth staff. And from the Gators organization, we just wanted to present a gift to Nick Mosley and Councilman Stokes. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. And we also gave you guys a Gators championship ring, ring, ring from 2023. Ring. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's clap it up again for the national champion. To be honest, guys, I think I heard a lot of cheering when it came time to our Ravens. And I think that we constantly hear all the negativity about our young boys and girls, particularly in East and West Baltimore. And whenever we get a chance to uh, congratulate them, you know, I like to act like the Ravens just won the Super Bowl. So if everybody could give it up while they're walking out for the Old Town Gators. There we go. Thank you so much for that. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. McCray. Dorsey. Conway. Schleifer. Middleton. Torn. Bullock. Costello. Stokes. Glover. Ramos. Mr. President, we have a quorum. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Before we go into adoption of journal, I would like to again point out that Chairman Stokes uh, was really invaluable in working with the community to ensure that they were able to get down to Plant City, Florida. Obviously, if they couldn't make the trip down, they couldn't be national champions. And because of his hard work, he's always engaged in sports, particularly in East Baltimore, they were able to get down there and bring back the national championship to Baltimore. Uh, with that, we'll now proceed to adoption of the journal. Mr. President, the journal for the December 7, 2023 regular meeting proceedings are on the council member's desk. Without objection, the journal will be adopted. Hearing and seeing no objections, the journal is now adopted. For the record, all clearing of bills for the meeting on this Thursday, December the 7th, 2023 are now withdrawn. Now we're going to move on to bills on second reading. Before we do, I would like to recognize Chairman Costello. Thank you, Mr. President. I move we read short title for second and third reader for the duration of the meeting. Without objection, we'll be in short titles for duration of this meeting. Hearing and seeing none, we are in short titles. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 23-0445, Charter Amendment, Baltimore City Police Department. At this time, I'd like to uh, recognize Chair of the Committee, Chairman, oh, but uh, Chair of Public Safety, <laughs> Chairman uh, Conway. Floor yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the committee the whole held a hearing on this bill, and the committee voted to approve the bill with amendments as reflected in the materials for today's meeting. I move the amendments as favorable. Is there a second? second. It's been moved and probably second. All those favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The amendments in committee have been accepted. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. President, there's an uh, amendment the committee heard which it did not vote on during that meeting. Uh, the amendment moves certain actions from the duties to the powers, uh, from duties to powers such as the police department uh, will have the authority to manage the flow of traffic or work with other governments, but uh, with other government agencies, but um, not have that listed as a requirement under the, the, under the charter. Uh, so I move that amendment as favorable. Thank you. Would the sponsor of the amendment like to speak on behalf of the amendment real quick? Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, no, I just want to thank the chair for introducing it adequately. Uh, again, this is as simple as uh, I think one of the first things that we learn here in legislative drafting, the difference between a shall and a may. And basically this takes us from going the department shall collaborate with these other agencies to saying the, the department may collaborate with the agencies. We wouldn't have the ability as a body later on through an ordinance or anything like that to strip them of their right to, organ to, to coordinate with other agencies even if we wanted to. This just says that they don't have to feel compelled to if it's not in the public's best interest. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Mr. Councilman. Thank you, floor leader, for this. So there's an amendment on the floor. Has it been properly seconded? Second. 
So it's been moved and probably second that we adopt this floor amendment. Uh, we, the committee accepts it as a friendly amendment. Uh, at this time, um, if you're in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. The floor amendment is now adopted. Mr. Chair, the floor is yours. Uh, Mr. President, I move the bill favorably as amended. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Um, admit. Go ahead. Back admit. to uh, you, Mr. Chair. And I'm sorry, the bill, I have to say the bill will be printed for third reading. Back to you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for same day advancement from second to third reader. It's been moved and properly seconded at this point um, because we've invoked, um, the, um, since we've suspended the rule, uh, we have to have a roll call. So, Madam Clerk, if you please call the roll. President Mosby? Aye. Cohen? Aye. McCrae? Yeah. Dorsey? Yeah. Conway? Yeah. Schleifer? Middleton? Yeah. Burnett? Yeah. Bullock? Aye. Porter? Aye. Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yeah. Glover? Yeah. Ramos? It approves the bill will move on for third reading uh, same day. Madam Clerk. City Council Bill 23-0449, Public Safety, Baltimore City Police Department. Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The, the Committee of the Whole held a hearing on this bill, and the committee voted to approve the bill with amendments as reflected in the materials for today's meeting. I move the amendments as favorable. Second. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. Chair. Uh, I move the bill favorably as amended. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have the bill will be printed for third reading. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to invoke uh, City Council Rule 12-1 for same-day same advancement from uh, second to third reader. Is there a second? Yes. Having uh, this uh, been properly seconded, it's important for us to do roll call since we invoke Rule 12-1. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the rule. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Dorsey, Conway, Aye. Schleifer, Aye. Middleton, yeah. Burnett, yeah. Bullock, Aye. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yeah. Glover, yeah. Ramos. Yeah. The bill moves on for third reading today. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the next bill. Uh, in finance and performance, City Council Bill 23-0457, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Board of Elections, $1,300,000. Before we call uh, on you, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Chairman Costello, could you come here real quick? Mr. Chair. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the Finance Performance uh, Committee held its hearing on December 7, 2003 for the next eight bills that are on the agenda. Um, the first, as you mentioned, was 230457. Um, we heard the committee, and we would like to um, uh, move the bill as favorable. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. President, I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for same-day advancement from second to third reading. Is there a second? It's been moved and probably seconded. Madam Clerk, please call the rule. President Mosby? Aye. Cohen? Aye. McCray? Dorsey? Conway? Aye. Schleifer? Middleton? Yeah. Burnett? Yeah. Bullock? Yes. Porter? Aye. Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yes. Glover? Yeah. Ramos? This bill moves on for third reading today. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0458, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR, Office of Cable and Communications, $300,000. Mr. Chair, I yield the floor to you. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The Finance and Performance Committee held this hearing on a bill. Uh, the committee voted to approve the bills reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bills favorable. Is there a second? second. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. President, I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for same-day advancement from second to third reader. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and probably seconded. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. President Mosby? Aye. Cohen? Aye. McCray? Dorsey? Aye. Conway? Aye. Schleifer? Aye. Middleton? Yes. 
Burnett? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Porter? Aye. Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yes. Glover? Ramos? Yes. The bill moves to third reading today. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0459, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Fire Department, $18,900,000. Mr. Chair, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The, the committee held a hearing on this bill and voted to approve it as uh, reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bill favorable as amended. Is there a second? It's been moved in the present second. All in favor, please say aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, Madam, Mr. Clerk, the floor is yours. Uh, Mr. President, I move to invoke City Council Rule 12 1 for same day advance for second, second? third reader. It's, it's been moved in the second. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. President Mosby? Aye. Cohen? Aye. McCray? Dorsey? Conway, Aye. Schleifer, Middleton, Aye. Burnett, yes. Bullock, yes. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. Yes. The bill moves to third reading today. Madam Clerk. City Council Bill 23-0460, Supplementary General Fund operate, Operating Appropriation, Health Department, $12,300,000. The body would like to recognize the chair. Thank you, Mr. President. The Finance and Performance Committee uh, held a hearing on this bill and voted to approve the bill as uh, reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bill as favorable. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for same-day advancement from second to third reader. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Dorsey. Yes. Conway, Aye. Schleifer, Aye. Middleton, Burnett, yes. Bullock, yes. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. Yes. The ayes have it. This bill will be moved on for third reading today. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the next bill. City Council Bill 23-0461, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Department of Law, $1,900,000. I yield the floor to the, the Chair of the Committee. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The Finance and Performance Committee held a hearing for the bill and voted to approve it as reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bill as favorable. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. President, I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for a same-day advancement from second to third. Is reader. there a second? Right. It's been moved and properly second. At this time, Madam Clerk, please call the rule. President Mosby, Cohen, aye. McCray, Dorsey, yeah. Conway, Schleifer, Aye. Middleton, yes. Burnett, yes. Bullock, yes. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. Yes. Please let the record reflect that I'm an eye um, on that as well. I'm sorry. Uh, this bill moves to third reading. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0462, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Liquor License Board, $300,000. Mr. Chair, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. The Finance and Performance Committee held a hearing for the bill and voted to approve the bill as reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bill favorable. It's been moved and properly second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chair, the floor is yours. Uh, Mr. President, I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for a same-day advancement from second to third reader. Second. It's been moved and properly second. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Dorsey. Yes. Conway, Aye. Schleifer, Aye. Middleton, yes. Burnett, yes. Bullock, Aye. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. Yes. The ayes have it. This bill will move on to third reading today. Madam Clerk, please call the next bill. City Council Bill 23-0463, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR, Office of Children and Family Success, $400,000. By the to recognize the Chair of the Committee. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The committee held a hearing on the bill and voted to approve it as reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bill as favorable. Is there a second? It's been moved and properly second. All those favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for same day advancement from second to third reader. Is there a second? second. It's been moved and properly second. Madam Clerk, please call the rule. President Mosby. Aye. Cohen. Aye. McCray. Yeah. Dorsey. Yeah. Conway. Yeah. Schleifer. Middleton. Burnett, yes. Bullock, Aye. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, Ramos. Yes. The bill moves on to third reading today. Madam Clerk. City Council Bill 23-0464, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Department of Public Works, $1,900,000.
Mr. Chair, floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. The Finance and Performance Committee held a hearing on this bill and voted to approve it as reflected in the materials for today's meeting, and I move the bill favorable. It's been moved and probably second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. President, I move to invoke City Council Rule 12-1 for same-day advancement from second to third reader. Is there a second? It's been moved and probably seconded. Madam Clerk, please call the rule. President Mosby? Aye. Cohen? Aye. McCray? Dorsey? Yes. Conway? Yes. Schleifer? Middleton? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Porter? Aye. Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yes. Glover? Yes. Ramos? Bill moves to third reading for today. Madam Clerk, please call the next bill. Uh, Ways and Means City Council Bill 23-0452, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR, Arts and Culture, $581,334. Anybody would like to recognize Chair of the Committee, Mr. Chair? Thank you, Mr. President. This is the third quarterly installment in fiscal year 2024 as part of the uh, negotiated agreement with the Mayor's Office uh, at the beginning of the fiscal year 2024. Uh, budget process or at the end of that process. Uh, Mr. President, I move the bill favorably. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and probably second. All in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. The ayes have it. Mr. Chip. Thank you, Mr. President. I move uh, to invoke rule 12 1. 12 1 for same day advancement of the bill from second to third reader. Is there a second? It's been moved in private second. All those in favor, please say aye. Sorry, we have to do roll call. Madam Clerk, please go on a roll. President Mosby? Aye. Cohen? Aye. McCray? Aye. Dorsey? Conway? Yes. Schleifer? Aye. Middleton? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Porter? Aye. Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yes. Glover? Yes. Ramos? Yes. The bill moves to third reading for same day advancement. We'll now turn to bills on third day. Uh, third reading uh, for same day advancement. These are the ones that require the invocation of um, rules 12 1. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 23 0452, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR, Arts and Culture, $581,334. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. Bills, the bills approved, Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0445, Charter Amendment, Baltimore City Police Department, President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, yes. Ramos. Yes. Bills approved, Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0449, Public Safety, Baltimore City Police Department. President Mosby, Cohen, Mc McCray, Dorsey, yes. Conway, yes. Schleifer, Middleton, yes. Burnett, Bullock, yes. Porter, yes. Costello, uh, Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. The bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0457, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Board of Elections, $1,300,000. President Mosby, Cohen, Aye. McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, yes. Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Aye. Costello, Stokes, yes. Glover, Ramos. Yes. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0458, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR, Office of Cable and Communications, $300,000. President Mosby, Cohen, Aye. McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Mid Middleton, yes. Burnett, yes. Bullock, yes. Porter, Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, Ramos. Yes. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0459, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Fire Department, $18,900,000. President Mosby, Cohen, Aye. McCray, Aye. Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Aye. Middleton, Aye. Burnett, yes. Bullock, yes. Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. Bills approved, Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0460, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Health Department, $12,300,000. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, 
Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yes. Glover? Ramos? Yes. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0461, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Department of Law, $1,900,000. President Mosby? Cohen? Aye. McCray? Dorsey? Yes. Conway? Yes. Schleifer? Aye. Middleton? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Porter? Aye. Costello? Aye. Stokes? Yes. Glover? Yes. Ramos? Yes. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk. City Council Bill 23-0462, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation Liquor License Board, $300,000. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk, thanks, Bill. City Council Bill 23-0463, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, MR, Office of Children and Family Success, $400,000. President Mosby, Cohen, Aye. McCray, Dorsey, Conway, yeah. Schleifer, Middleton, yeah. Burnett, yeah. Bullock, yeah. Porter, Aye. Costello, uh, Stokes, yes. Glover, yeah. Ramos. Yeah. Bill's approved, Madam Clerk, next bill. City Council Bill 23-0464, Supplementary General Fund Operating Appropriation, Department of Public Works, $1,900,000. President Mosby, Cohen, Aye. McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Aye. Costello, Aye. Stokes, yes. Glover, yes. Ramos. This bill's approved. We'll now turn to bills on third reading that, that did not require same day advancement. Madam Clerk, if you could please call the first bill. City Council Bill 23-0408, zoning, conditional use conversion of a single family dwelling unit to two dwelling units in the R8 zoning district, variances 1046 Brantley Avenue. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Torrance, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk. City Council Bill 23-0425, improving safety and habit habitability in supportive and other residential housing. President Mosby, Cohen, Mc McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. This bill is approved. Madam Clerk. City Council Bill 23-0440, sale of property, market center renewal plan area, 32 properties. President Mosby, Cohen, McCray, Dorsey, Conway, Schleifer, Middleton, Burnett, Bullock, Porter, Costello, Stokes, Glover, Ramos. This bill is approved, and that ends all of our third day uh, third readers. Please give it up for our amazing clerk. <laughs> for battling through that. The following bills have been reassigned from Finance and Performance Committee to Committee as a whole. Uh, legislative Oversight 23-0053, Agency Briefing, Grants Management and 23-0205R, investigative hearing, procurement in Baltimore City. Again, their committee as a whole, as all we ask all members to participate uh, in those hearings uh, when they are announced. Uh, we're gonna go into committee announcements. The first announcements, we do have a couple committee as a whole announcements. The first is the cancellation of LO023-0050. Um, that's cancel and reschedule. We'll hear the rescheduling soon. Uh, but that is um, the committee as a whole on the comprehensive annual uh, financial report. Um, again, it's been renamed to the annual comprehensive financial report. Uh, interested, you know, most folks call it CAFR around the country, but we've renamed it, I guess, I'm not sure. But that meeting has been uh, canceled and it will be rescheduled. You'll hear that later on. Um, Uh, the next announcement for committee as a whole is February the 5th, 2024 at 2 p.m. We're going to hear legislative oversight 23-0053. Uh, that is agency briefing on grants management. Um, again, that will be um, on Monday, February the 5th, 2004 at 2 p.m. 
and that it's on grant management. Uh, last and certainly not least, uh, another agency um, committee of the whole will be 23-0205R. Uh, that is on investigative hearing for procurement in Baltimore City. That's going to take place again on Monday, the February the 5th at 2.01. So both are February 5th, uh, one's at 2 o'clock, the other one's at 2.01. Obviously, they'll run concurrently, uh, and that, are, that ends our announcements from committee as a whole. Next, we're going to turn to um, ECD. you have any announcements? Madam VP, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. I have uh, three announcements. The Economic, Economic and Community Development Committee will hear number, bill number 23-0407, on Tuesday, January 9th, 2024, at 2.03 p.m., and that was, that's the zoning um, for the non-conforming use reporting. Um, on Tuesday, February 6th, 2023, bill number 22-0297, we will hear at 2 p.m., and that's the rezoning 2101 Washington Boulevard. And also on Tuesday, February 6 at 2.01 p.m., we will hear bill number 23-0439, and that is the zoning variant side yard 6709 West Run Drive. Thank you. Thank you, Madam VP. Next up, we're gonna go to education, workforce, and youth. Next, health, environment, technology. Thank you, Mr. President. The Health, Environment, and Technology Committee will hold a hearing on Council Bill 23-0465, tree removal on city property, permits and procedure on Wednesday, January 24, 2024 at 10.02 a.m. The hearing will be held in the council chamber. Thank you, Madam Chair. Next up, we go to Public Safety Government Operations. Mr. Chair, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. The Public Safety and Government Operations Committee will be hearing Bill 23-0203R, informational hearing on BG&E and forestry on Wednesday, January 24, 2024 at 1 p.m. here. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chair. You. Next up, we go to rules and legislative oversight. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ways and means. Mr. Chair, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Biennial Audits Oversight Commission will hold the hearing on Tuesday, January 23rd at 10 a.m. in Chambers. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, last and certainly not least, finance and performance. Uh, yes, thank you, Mr. President. Um, as President Mosby already mentioned, the um, hearing for um, L0230053, which was scheduled uh, for um, our committee at 3 p.m., has now been canceled. That was on uh, the 15th of February. And in its place on Thursday, uh, February 15th, 2024, we will be having a hearing for City Council Bill uh, 210062R, and that's around the American Rescue Plan Act, also known as ARPA. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, now that concludes committee announcements. Are there any regular announcements? I think Mr. Cost Chairman Costello has an announcement for us. <laughs> I was joking, guys. You didn't hear his phone. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do have an announcement. First and foremost, thank you for all the work in 2023. I think uh, particularly this fourth quarter, we got through a lot. It started with the redistrict redistricting uh, as it relates to the census and uh, our statutory requirement. Um, it's a tremendous amount of work uh, for many members um, of, of this committee, your staff, as well as the um, staff of the council president uh, and working with the mayor on that. Uh, we also had inclusionary housing, which again was a heavy lift, a lift of 18 years uh, of, of getting a quality bill that we all can be proud of. Uh, so very supportive of all the hard work that folks poured and pumped into that. Uh, and then lastly, local control, obviously, on this particular day. Um, you know, when we talk about historic bills, this couldn't be more than historic. Um, you know, obviously, the city of Baltimore has not had local control since the Civil War. Um, you know, we understand and know the chasm that has been created between law enforcement and our communities, not just in Baltimore, but all throughout the entire country. As we continue to dismantle that, uh, it's important that the taxpayers that are paying into the uh, uh, funds for the hardworking men and women of the Baltimore Police Department also have a say so in working and dealing with them. Um, it removes the patriarchal like relationship with Annapolis, the symbiotic type of relationship that we were the only jurisdiction in the entire state to have. 
uh, with Annapolis. Uh, it's critically important for us to happen. So thank you to all the folks uh, from the council members, to your staff, to the local control board, to the administration, to the law department, and everybody else in between. Um, you know, it's a lot of work that we've been able to kind of really trudge through, trudge through uh, this past couple of months. So truly, truly appreciate that uh, from the bottom of my heart. With that, we'll go to Madam Vice President as we adjourn. The next regular meeting of the Baltimore City Council will be held on Monday, January 8th, 2023 at 5 p.m. At this time, we will recognize a moment of silence for the now 255 victims of homicide this year. And um, may we all have a wonderful, happy holiday. And uh, we're all looking forward to 2024. As we adjourn, we would like to just remind folks to uh, go into 2024 in peace and blessings. Um, happy, happy holidays, whether you celebrate Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, or whatever your tradition or faith is. Uh, truly, truly appreciate you. Baltimore, we absolutely love you. There's no new business before the desk, so this will conclude the 73rd term of this special meeting of your Baltimore City Council. <laughs>